Hey everybody, welcome to an impromptu, this isn't really a show, this is more just a, a PSA, because we here had a, uh, we had a moment, and uh, I wanted to go live today to talk about what happened um, to us today. So, uh, about 11 o'clock, uh, it turned out that my Switch account was hacked, and someone bought many, many hundreds of dollars of uh, Fortnite V-Bucks from Poland. And so uh, we did some, you know, I, I've already been on the phone with Nintendo and it's gotten fixed, but through researching through all of how this happened, we found out this has actually been kind of a, uh, this issue has been running rampant. Uh, and it's something that I figured I would kind of hop on here and tell people. So this is a, a PSA for everybody. Don't mind my phone jamming around in the background. We've been doing a bunch of work. So uh, here's how this works. Um, ever since the lockdowns have been happening in the UK uh, and really around the world, this has actually become more of an issue. And especially in the United States, now that stimulus checks are going out, uh, if you have a console, be it PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or even you know several accounts on PC, you have the option to link like a PayPal account to that account, um, and that's great for convenience and it makes it easy to buy stuff, etc. Uh, apparently, these are uh, this is being treated as like a backdoor more or less for folks to be able to kind of get in and buy some stuff. I just talked to uh, Nintendo. And they gave me a whole bunch of really good advice that I wanted to share with you. So, uh, if the, so, first off, let's be proactive. Uh, the first thing that I would recommend that you do is go on, and I have just done this. Uh, I would go to all of your accounts, be they PlayStation, be they Xbox, be they Nintendo, Steam, Epic Games, whatever, and I would change your password. And I would, if you haven't already, I would turn on two-factor authentication. What that means, two-factor authentication means that you have to set it up so that not only do you have to enter a password, but they send like a challenge code to your email or they text it to you. Or in the case of Nintendo, they use an app. Um, Blizzard, for example, has a, a Blizzard authenticator app. I would encourage you to go do that now. I also would encourage you, if you use PayPal, um, this is just an extra precaution that they added, but just to be extra sure, I would don't I would change the password to your uh, PayPal as well. Um, those should help limit access to the account. Hopefully, you will already have it set up so that if purchases for PayPal come through, you know, I have them, and the way I found out about it is I have it go through my Facebook Messenger. So it actually, I get a Facebook message every time my PayPal is used. And so I got two alerts that a random, that several hundred dollars in uh, V-Bucks was purchased. I immediately asked my son, because, you know, maybe he hit a wrong button. I doubted that he would spend $200 on V-Bucks without at least joking about it with us first um and he didn't he was outside to, he was watching minecraft and then he went outside to go sledding so uh then i immediately knew something was up and so we were able to kind of leap to our own defense the other thing that i found out is so that's the advice they gave as far as how to um you know how to kind of prevent these things ahead of time if it does happen to you uh which it happened to us the advice that I was given from the rep at Nintendo was before you dispute the charges with PayPal or your credit card, call them uh, because they have the ability. I was able to literally just read off the serial number from our Switch and they were able to identify the purchase. They figured out where this other Switch was and then they um, and, uh, and they were able to authorize a refund. Uh, and they, th it's harder for them to do that if you have also disputed the charges. So call them first because they can look at it. They can make some, you know, they, they can give you advice as far as what the best thing to do is. And, you know, if you've already disputed the charges, then it makes it harder for them to do a refund because they can't, re you, you know, you see it creates like a little tangled mess. So call the platform holder first if you can. And, you know, then dispute charges if necessary. But again, to repeat, this is a this is apparently a very big thing that has been happening all over the place. And 
you know, it's imp- I would recommend to everybody now, especially if you have a PayPal account, link to your um, Nintendo account or your PlayStation, etc. Change your passwords, set up two-factor authentication where possible, and you know, just maybe take a look at those purchases and make sure that everything is legit. In my case, I was fortunate that they were very large purchases made all at once. Uh, it it might have been more difficult for me uh, if it were smaller ones over time. But it was pretty obvious once I looked at my Nintendo account, because I do not have a Nintendo in Poland. I was fairly, at least I was confident that I didn't. So um, those are really important steps. And this is actually turning into a pretty big deal because of the stimulus checks that are coming in. These bad actors are assuming that people are getting money. Maybe they're not paying a lot of attention to it. Maybe they've got other things going on. And um, so I encourage everybody, this is a good opportunity. It's a nice, you know, it's a Saturday. We're all stuck in the house anyway. So now is a great time to do some account security. Um, Change your passwords. Uh, And this is not just necessarily with consoles, right? People, anywhere that you can spend money, people are going to be doing crazy stuff. So maybe change your Amazon password. Do, you know, just do what you're going to do. Because these, these people are, they are, as and this happened every time there's a major disaster, people and bad actors are doing crazy stuff. So again, to repeat, because a whole bunch of people more signed in, and and I'm glad that there are people watching. Um, now is a great time to do a security check in on all your consoles. Go in, change your passwords, turn on two factor authentication if you can. Investigate to see if there have been any weird purchases or logins on your accounts. Um, probably a good idea to change your paypal password and you know maybe you know kind of rotate your email password if you already have two-factor authentication on everything then it is probably going to be okay anyway i'm not a security expert but that probably is going to help with a lot of that but maybe change your passwords anyway let's just be extra careful and i yeah i said that i'm i'm getting to the to round two of telling people uh, the, the general uh, missed the first half because she was making uh, some lunch for the kids. So to repeat what happens if you do get hacked, uh, number one, don't panic. Um, change all those passwords. And then um, you can do that while you are calling the platform holder of choice, be it Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, Epic Games, you know, basically contacting them through the appropriate channels to let them know that an unauthorized transaction was done. Uh, in the case of Nintendo, I was on the phone with them. I was on hold with them for longer than I was on the phone with uh, phone phone uh, phone with Richard, uh, the, the the rep that I talked to. I gave him the serial number from my Switch. And for the record, the serial number is on the bottom on this little white thing. That's the serial number. Um, yes, I was covering it. Um, so the they'll just need that. And if you have multiple switches, I just brought all of them over to my desk and just was prepared to read them all off. And then he was able to refund the charges. The only downside is it takes a couple of days, which is inconvenient, but I, you know, there's not much I can really do about that. Um, but yeah, this is a, share this far and wide, folks. This is a great time to do a security check-in on all of our consoles, especially if you have PayPal or a credit card linked to your account, because that makes it so much easier for them to go in Make some purchases, especially if you play Fortnite and um, or any of these live service games, and they can just hop in and take your money. And we don't want any of that. So, yeah, this has been just a quick PSA. Uh, like I said, share this video far and wide. Let's have people, uh, you know, make sure everybody sees it. I'll go ahead and share this into the community, etc. Um, yeah, this is a big deal. Hopefully everybody uh, learns from my mistakes because I certainly was not as protected as I probably should have been, which is extra dumb on my part because I'm a public figure. But what are you going to do? Uh, at least Nintendo was able to get it fixed. So you guys have a great day. Uh, we will talk to you soon when we can talk about more fun things. Uh, but until then, uh, securely get your family game on. Bye, guys.